Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to Friday Sews. A little bit of life, a little bit of sewing, a little bit of everything. I'm Stephanie, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. Um, I want to start out with a project I've been working on, and I just, I was going to talk about it last week, but I couldn't figure out how to explain my madness to you. So, I'm going to this week. I wore a cute dress last week and some of you said, hey, tell us about that and that's what I'm going to do today. That dress is this dress. This was the first one and that one's the second one of my hoodie journey. I have made the perfect hoodie dress. I keep saying that, but this is it. So my hoodie journey started last summer. I really knew in my mind what I wanted and I tried to figure it out on my own. And it was when um, COVID kind of brought me back into a new era of my sewing journey because um, I was stuck at home. I redecorated this room into my new sewing room. I have a tour of it and I think I have a playlist of the whole process. It was just so fun. And it really just made me want to sew more. I've always sewn all my life, but this last year and a half has been a whole new game of sewing so I'm really enjoying it and um, the first thing I really was thinking in my mind was what kind of clothes do I like to wear on traveling especially with our camper and I wanted to make a hoodie dress it's in my mind so I found this pattern it wasn't exactly what I had in my mind but close enough so I made this dress and I found the fabric in my vision was gray fleece like sweatshirty and I found the most amazing soft gray fleece online from, um, shoot, what's the name of that store? It's in, I'll put a link to it. What's the name of that store? Well, that was one of my first times to buy online and um, I paid too much. <laughs> For that fabric I just didn't know what I was doing it, but it turned out great and I wear that hoodie all the time but I kind of wanted to perfect it there were things I didn't like so I started to alter the pattern and I made this hoodie dress so many times and some of them I loved and some of them I didn't one of the one things I will tell you I learned through that hoodie dress is I like a four-way stretch to my fabric just two ways or not a lot of stretch it wasn't comfy it just wasn't comfy so uh, some fabrics just weren't going to work and so this fabric is Joann's it's just very stretchy and very soft and it's my favorite and I have found fabric like this other places the dress um, that I wore last week let me just show that to you so that was from a fabric store locally I think I have a fabric haul on that and I love that fabric um it was just so fun to make that dress, totally fun. So anyways, back to the journey. I started thinking, I'm tired of this, so I stopped making it. I made it too many times. You probably got tired of it too. I get it. Uh, and I was kind of obsessed with this Fit and Flare free pattern online, and I made that for a contest with um, the using up your stash and a free pattern. And I love that dress, but there were things I didn't like right away. And I changed the neck, I changed the sleeves, I put in pockets, I started doing things and then I put a hood on it and it became my favorite. It became my favorite. I think I made the hoodie dress hood on a fit and filler twice. And I was sitting here a few weeks ago thinking what if I was just going to make something quick and easy that I know how to make, it would probably be that. But I was like, you know what? I think I would like to try my hand at making the dress that I originally always wanted that was in my mind and I took out my pattern paper which is in a big roll up there I laid it on my table and I drew out the pattern I wanted I knew what I wanted um, sleeve hood pockets dress so I only wanted a front and a back and I wanted it to have the curve. The fit and flare I liked because it had the curve. So I wanted it to hug my figure because I have a large waist. My figure's pretty straight. I, I, no matter what size I am, my waist is always just not in, doesn't go in. And so I wanted to make my pattern custom to me. So I drew out my pattern. I knew all my measurements because I've altered patterns so many times. I knew the shapes I wanted. I knew how I wanted my hoodie to be because um, I had used this hoodie and altered it a few times. So I knew exactly what I wanted it to be. So I just, I just drew out a pattern. I can't sketch. I can't draw a straight line and I can't draw, draw a curve line. But you know what? I just thought nobody knows that I'm doing this and I'm just going to make it up. And I drew my own pattern. Uh, you know, just kind of erased a lot, used an eraser a lot, and just kept working on it, working on it, 
And um, I had all my measurements. I'm just going to show it to you real quick. This is my pattern. I was pretty good at writing all my measurements. Every single thing I measured on here so that it could match. And I encourage you to play around with that. It was really fun. I like a big puzzle. And um, here's my first try. It's like the best first try I've had with any pattern. It was my own made up pattern. Uh, I am so excited about this making up a pattern. I want to make up more patterns. Um, this is my first first dress. And then this one I wore last week that I just showed you was my second. I'm still perfecting how to get this hood. I like that, that it's at a V. Um, but I'm surging it on, so you can't just split your little V and get the, the point to match. I did split it once, and I didn't split it once, and it worked the same. So I'm kind of perfecting that, but other than that, I love this dress. I like that it hugs the figure because that gives me a figure that I don't have. I love the pockets. I love that I use this soft fabric. It's This fabric's very stretchy, super forgiving. Um, it has stretch this way and this way. I learned through these hoodies that I've made that I don't like the just one way stretch. The one, they call it two way. It's this is two way and this is four way. So I want it to stretch four way. I don't want it to be very stretchy because I like comfort big time. So that's the project I've been working on and this is the most comfortable dress I've ever had. So my plan is I would like to make this in a tunic to wear with leggings this fall and winter and I'd like to make a top to wear with pants. I don't wear a lot of pants, but when I do, I want it to be a longer top, you know, because that's just what I like. And so I'm going to find that perfect hem. Uh, on this hoodie dress, I had marked my hem preference on several other patterns, so I just used that measurement, and I didn't even have to change the hem. It was just, everything was perfect about it. I had already kind of figured out the... Um, the fit on the arm, how how the measurement here, and you know I didn't want any puff. I didn't. I just wanted it to ease right in. I'm just like so happy. I'm excited. So I made my own pattern, y'all. Custom to me. I actually have a couple of other things I want to make up because I I had this hoodie swimsuit cover up that I wore as a hoodie jacket. It was long and it was perfect and it was super simple. I lost it. And I've never forgotten it. So I want to draw myself that. I want to draw myself that. So that's probably the next thing I want to do. And, um, you know, see if that works out. But um, the sky's the limit if I'm just going to make stuff up. <laughs> Am I dreaming? I, know. I mean, who, who thinks they can make their own dress up, huh? So that's what I've been doing. And I wasn't going to talk about it because... I feel crazy, <laughs> but you asked several of you, you like that dress. Um, on that note, I just want to say it had an obvious pattern, you know, and I wanted it. I didn't, I wasn't meticulous. I didn't try to match it exactly, but what I did try to do is match it enough to where the design went around. And so I, I did what somebody called fussy cut. I guess that's apparently a quilter's term, but I chose where that orange stripe was going to be. And I used, I used my, I'm super like into getting the most out of my fabric. When I lay it out, I hardly ever use the map that they give you. I like, want, I want to use all my fabric, like get everything. I'm crazy about that. So on this particular dress, I was like just cutting it where it was going to match. I wanted my hood, that orange stripe to be right where it is. And I wanted it to be that certain place on this dress. That was kind of fun. So if you do an obvious pattern like that, get extra fabric so you can kind of, you know, choose what's going to go where. That was really fun. Um, I'm on the hunt for some more of what they call double brushed poly. That is my favorite knit. And I want it to stretch four ways. And I want it to, the double brushed, uh, from what I've read, is they brush it on both sides. So it's so soft, so soft. And I don't want anything else. I just decided. So I'm all about this double brushed poly. I'm looking for that. And it has polyester and spandex, I think. But um, they don't have as many cool prints as I like. So I'm on the hunt. And uh, if you've got some good sources, uh, drop them in the comments because I'm on the hunt. I'm looking. I've had really good luck with Knit Pop, but I've already bought what I like from them. And until they keep getting new stuff, I don't want any more floral. I don't hate floral. Obviously, I wear floral, but I'm sick of it. I want some, like, cool, like, boho, 
geometrics and, and abstract prints. That's what I really like. Nothing super like crazy, but I, obviously I like crazy fabrics. You've probably seen that. But when I actually go clothes shopping, I like things that are like boho, you know, and um, if, if it's going to be floral, I would like one big flower, you know, instead of these all these little flowers. I like this one a lot, but I'm looking for fabric. I'm on the search. So that's what I've been up to. That's my, that's my project. And I'm kind of excited to make more patterns. <laughs> I don't know. I have two drawers full of patterns over there. But I just, would, I just want to see if I can make some things that I've been wanting, like in my mind. But I can't find a pattern that actually is just what I want. Um, and I'm kind of shocked by that because I look at a lot of patterns. So I feel like I, this is like, once I've got this perfect, it's like a start for a lot of other things. And I know there's, there's systems and all that. I'm just not good at learning systems and do, I'm not a detail person. I'm kind of just like, let me just make it. That's why I don't want to tell you. You're going to like, go do this system, go do that system. And I'm going to be like, I, I'm just, I'm just not good at, you know, Following all those systems is a lot to learn. I know sewing is a lot to learn, but but you get to do whatever you want, and that's kind of what I am. So oh, I'm gonna do whatever I want, person. I can't help it. Uh, so made my own custom dress. Super excited. Gonna make a bunch more. I'm sorry to bore you with more hoodie dresses, but I have other things I'm gonna make. I promise you. But I just that's what I want to wear. And uh, speaking of that, on to life. Um, we're heading up to my granddaughter's wedding and I was looking at my clothes and that's where the hoodie thing began is that's what I want to wear because it's a much cooler climate than where I live so I need to bring my leggings and have layers I'm just into layers because then you can go inside take off your jacket or your sweater and then um, you know a sweater meaning just more like a cardigan and I have a bazillion cardigans bring I want to bring as much me made clothes as I can on this trip. I uh, did that last time when we went for her graduation and I'm not, I'm obviously bringing a store-bought dress for the wedding because I showed that a couple of weeks ago. Let me pop it up here because I love this dress. Uh, got hubby a new suit. Talked about that last week. We're going to be adorable prom couple. <laughs> can't wait. Uh, I got a call today from the bride and she invited me to join the other girls with manicures. Uh, it's the day we, after we get there. So uh, I said, sure, count me in. I haven't done my nails in a while. I just don't know what happened. I stopped doing them. Um, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to wait till I get there and uh, just do the works there. So I'm really excited to see my family and I'm mostly excited to go to a happy occasion because uh you know we've all been under a lot of stress wouldn't you agree just a lot of stress and i feel like i talk to people i talk to friends and we're all feeling kind of overwhelmed it's been COVID for a long time and then there's so much bad news there's always bad news i stopped watching the news i'm tired of bad news uh and then here we have fires and i'm just gonna i don't want to drive you crazy with fire news but I'm just going to give you a little update the Caldor I kept calling it cauldron <laughs> the Caldor fire is the one I've been talking about for what two weeks and uh still not contained they've got a percent on it but it's not very high and um we are not seeing any smoke from it apparently the wind's blowing it the other direction but I went to Sacramento today and it was covered with smoke sorry if you're in Sacramento I am having blue skies here and I'm just like so appreciative because it's hard to breathe. Like my throat's scratchy now just from being down there. So God bless you guys. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. And um, the sad thing is I keep seeing that it's, you know, it's coming close to Lake Tahoe. Hubby says it's not going to get to Lake Tahoe, but what does he know? He's not a firefighter. So um, prayers, keep them coming, please keep them coming. We need them. And uh, yesterday we saw a plume of smoke on the other side of us. So like there, let's just say the Caldor, Caldor fire is that way. We saw smoke that way. And we're like, oh my gosh. So suddenly you're on the Facebook neighborhood groups looking to see an, um, another fire. And we know people that are being evacuated in that area. Uh, won't reach us because it's too far, but it's, it's in our county. So uh, we know people that are being evacuated, and um, please, all those prayers you've been doing, I really appreciate it, and they appreciate it. We all just want this to stop. 
they'll just want this stuff. So I don't even know how these are starting. Uh, the Dixie Fire, the really big one in Northern California, I think was from PG&E. Uh, although a guy, I guess, I saw this on the news. He came along and made more fires, made it bigger. So people are crazy. Don't light fires. So we don't have any cause for these two fires yet. So we'll wait and see what, what caused them. Um, but we just need them to go out. Uh, so I'm looking forward to my trip. It's the first time in our camper. We were supposed to be on vacation. Uh, would have came back yesterday. So um, we had kind of a slow week. We didn't have anything on the books. Hubby filled it with work immediately, as he does. Uh, he's kind of a workaholic in a good way. He loves what he does. And I love what he does. It's beautiful work that he does. If you have not looked, I'm going to tell you where to look. It's uh, The best place is Instagram Feral Photography. And uh, if you need the link, I'm going to put it in my description. I think it's always in my description, actually. I'm such a big fan of his. Such You're going to love his pictures. They're just beautiful to look at. He is such an artist. And um, so we're going to take our trailer for the first time. It was supposed to be camping, but now this is our first trip. If you haven't followed along, take a look at Trailer Tuesday because we're pretty much done with all the things that we did to remodel. And I have not done a before and after video. I want to stage it like real estate people do. And I don't know if that'll be this week or when we get back, but um, it's kind of fun. You know, you set out all the decorations that you really wouldn't take camping. <laughs> Trust me, you guys, we don't, we don't, yeah, it doesn't look like that when we're traveling, but it's a staged thing for the pictures. So I will probably do that either before we leave or right when we get back. Um, but it's done and it's beautiful and I am in love with it. I can't wait to stay in it. Uh, we promised the grandkids they could spend one night in our trailer with us. Uh, you have to be very specific or they will just stay the whole time. <laughs> and we're old. We can't take that. It's too much. But we will have them in our trailer one night. That's going to be fun. So you're caught up. You're caught up. The mystery dress last week, and now you know. I made it up. I'm kind of excited about that. I just really felt tickled. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting back and just sewing. That's what I really like doing. So I'll be thinking of ideas on the trip, enjoying myself immensely, and looking forward to coming back to my little sewing heaven. So I'm so grateful that you're here. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And... Um, Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate that. Ring the little bell if you want to be notified when I make a new video. Leave a comment, thumbs up. I love that. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye now.